Does your daily routine look something like this? You set up five alarms to wake up at 8.30 in the morning, but instead you snooze them all and then you wake up at around nine. Then you spend an hour scrolling on social media, watching so many unlimited reels right the moment you wake up. And after that, you have your breakfast and you sit down for studies at around 10.30 or 11. Once you sit down, your mind is continuously wandering here and there. You're not able to concentrate properly. And before you know it, it's already 1.30. Finally, over here, you get to have your lunch. And after your lunch, you feel so very sleepy so that there is no option but to take a nap, which then gets extended and it's now 5 30 in the evening you have no choice but to regret all the time that you've wasted since the morning but not just that in the evening when you try to study you can't really concentrate that well and your friends keep calling you up and disturbing you in the night you feel so bad and you promise that you'll be changing from tomorrow and the cycle repeats all over again if this is your daily routine my friends you are in big trouble and if you don't fix your life right now the entirety of your goals that you've set for yourself they will not be achieved but gladly you have clicked on this video and i dr anush pachel i'm a first year md medicine resident at gmc nagpur I'll be telling you exactly how I planned my daily routine which helped me crack both my NEET UG and my NEET PG in the 99th percentile and in the first attempt itself. Not just that, I promise by the end of this video, you will be at least two times or three times more efficient in your studies. So are you ready for the ultimate study routines for your exam? Let's go. A perfect study routine always has to start with the morning. In the morning, you have the maximum energy. You are just fresh and always it comes down to energy management more than time management. In the evening, you are not able to study well, even though you have time because you don't have the mental energy or the mental willpower. In the morning, once you wake up early, you feel fresh and you have all the energy stored. You have all the energy recovered by the sleep of your night. And in the morning, if you wake up early, that's where you make the most progress. I'll tell you how just waking up one or two hours earlier before your usual wake up time, you can save multiple hours all throughout the day it's all about energy management and for the sake of the video i'll be taking up the daily routine i had during my neat pg preparation by the way i have uploaded entire vlogs documenting this routine which i have followed so you know that i've tried and tested it before recommending it to you so i used to wake up at 4 a.m but it's not a compulsion you can wake up up till 6 a.m and that's when i recommend you to wake up at around 5 30 or 6 get enough sleep and you are waking up before the sun without wasting a single second or snoozing any alarms remind yourself of why you actually have to wake up do something for your life do something for your family do something big and just after you have done that go to the bathroom brush your teeth wash your face and now within just five minutes you are ready to sit down on your desk once you go to your desk you see your entire desk it is messed up and that's where the second step of the process comes into play and that is little bit organizing your desk make sure that it is clean don't spend 30 minutes just organizing your desk in the morning we have to make sure every minute that we are spending on our life is worth it so we'll be organizing our desk three things i always tell to keep on your desk one thing is a Pomodoro clock which will be using a laptop second thing a bottle of water and third your own study material so textbook ipad just keep your study material rest everything you do not need once you have your study space set up just turn on the bigtimer.net which is a free website which helps you create pomodoro timers for yourself and set a timer for at least one hour one hour you will set up a timer and you will sit down on your desk and start studying now in this point i do not want you to have your phone next to your desk i don't want you to have a charging station next to your desk i don't want any sort of mobile devices except for your study things like ipad so keep your phone next to your bed or in the other room or just put it in the fridge somewhere. <laughs> Terms and conditions apply if your phone gets damaged after watching this video, I'm not responsible for it. Anyways, do not keep your phone near you, do not keep any distractions near you because the one hour of study that we're going to be doing in the morning from let's say 6.30 to 7.30, that will be equivalent to two to three hours of study you do in the evening because like I said, it's all about energy management. Moving on, the third thing which you will be doing right now is starting with the most difficult thing that you find. So let's say that if I'm a neat UG student and I struggle a lot, with organic chemistry i'm going to be starting my day off with organic chemistry because i have a lot of energy in the morning and i have a lot of focus in the morning so i'll be starting with organic chemistry next if let's say that i'm a pg student i'll be starting with difficult topics maybe like medicine maybe like surgery like obgy which are kind of difficult or maybe like anatomy which are difficult <coughs> this way i know that i'm eating the frog the first thing in the morning there's a very famous quote eat your frog the first thing in the morning this means doing the hardest task in the first thing so that in the rest of the day you don't have to worry about it Right, so imagine this, you have woken up before anybody else, nobody is distracting, your phone is not there, you have a good study environment and you are deeply focused with the Pomodoro, you are doing the hardest thing possible and that's my friend, the ideal start of your morning. Now, I want you to continue two or three such Pomodoro sessions until 9 or 9.30 is there and at 9 or 9.30, before that, don't have anything to eat because it will slow you down. Let some fasting happen in your body, let your body work on some fumes and after that, at 9.30, you can start to have your breakfast. In your breakfast, that's the fourth step that I want you to 
you do is that in your breakfast don't have anything that is too high in sugars too high in carbohydrates you want to be focused on proteins so if you're a non-vegetarian i recommend you to have a breakfast that includes eggs because they are really good source of protein and if you incorporate protein in your diet you will see that you don't crash really fast like sugar after having a lot of sugar you crash really fast in proteins you do not crash and secondly if you're a vegetarian try having something like moat try having something like beans chana all of these are good sources of protein you should incorporate this and you can automatically see the changes happening in your life once you are done with your breakfast i want you to not waste a lot of time go take a shower and at 10 or 10 15 you are ready for study session number two in this second study session what our main goal is our main goal is to revise the things that we did yesterday so there's this famous concept called as the forgetting curve it looks like this which basically tells you that the information that you have in your mind let's say that i read today the height of mount everest is this much i will try to forget that information the my brain will try to forget that information unless and until i revise it so basic concept agar tum revision nahi karoge you will forget things so i want you to revise all the things which you studied in the past day past week past month past year whatever it is i want you to revise it in the next 2 hours so from 10:30 to maybe like 12:30 i want you to revise it all again with a pomodoro timer the pomodoro timer has to stay it is not going anywhere because it's one thing that's making us sure that we are in deep focus and we are not wasting our time all right so just take a recap and let's just take a look at what we have achieved so far we have woken up earlier in the morning and from 6 all the way till 12 it's about 6 hours of pass and out of this 6 hours 5 hours we have studied in deep focus so before the clock has hit 12 in the morning you have already studied 5 hours that just puts you way ahead of anybody else who is trying to study who is trying to compete you because before the day has already begun for them you are done most of the work you have studied more than what they will study throughout the day so that's the magic of just waking up one or two hours before you are waking up time and that's how you keep your energy high so this was the entire morning session that we had and in the morning session again i want you to be focused i want you to not please don't look at your phone i want you not to have a lot of carbohydrates i want you to stay hydrated and please focus on yourself focus on your goals look at the bigger picture and do your work there is no alternative but work there is no alternative but sacrifice all right at 12 or 12:30 you will definitely get some urges to have your lunch and i request you go have your lunch please don't have very high I heavy lunch thoda sa if you reduce your diet if you reduce your calories it's going to be fine for you you're not going to go anywhere maybe you might have some weight loss but honestly weight loss is good for your body unless and until you have particular medical conditions but for the reason i'm telling you to not eat that much my friends is because i don't want you to crash in the afternoon because if you have a very heavy lunch you know what happens is i'll tell you scientifically when you have a heavy lunch all the food is going inside your git in your gastrointestinal system and to digest this food it requires a lot of energy which we actually measure as specific dynamic heat of a particular substance that means how much energy we are actually utilizing to digest that substance the basic idea is if you eat a heavy meal all of the your energy all of your blood flow is going to be directed to your git it's called this planckneic circulation in the medicine terms and that's planckneic vasodilatation after having your meal is the reason that you crash Right after that is done I want you to take a scheduled break of at least 1 hour you can actually look at your phone in this one you can talk to your friends you can enjoy food you can talk to your mom whatever it is just take a good break and by 1:30 or maximum by 2 you should be back at your desk now at this point at 2 you might feel like I just want to take a small nap of 10 minutes 20 minutes please don't fall into that that nap will turn into a 5 hour long sleep and then when you wake up you will not know which century you are in and which college you are in which what's your name you will not know anything so basically at 2 you sit down on your desk again start the timer and now at this point i want you to do the active things what do i mean by active things active things means you start solving the question so no matter what um, place you are at solving questions is a compulsory thing for us mcq exams for us theory exams all of these are mandatory so whatever you are doing in the afternoon you try to keep your mind busy because if you don't then you will fall asleep so solve your questions do the active recall whatever it is do it in the afternoon so from 2 to 4 again you are having a normal timer set up and in these 2 hours you're going to be solving as many questions as possible and if possible in this time give your papers as well if you have some papers to give for example i tell previous year papers to be done by all neat aspirants this is the time of the neat exam as well like 2 to 5:30 this is the time where you should be sitting down and solving your papers so this is also a great thing to do after that is done i want you to incorporate a small thing in your life that is going to your whiteboard or if you don't have a whiteboard just open up your notebook and start writing down whatever you have read today just in short explain yourself what is going on so i'll give you an example
example of how I used to do this when I was a final year student. So I used to sit down and I used to just in my mind imagine what would be happening if I saw a patient of let's say a stroke in the internal capsule of the left side. What is going to be the symptom? So let's say that a patient comes to me, a 47 year old lady, in the morning at 5:30 she woke up and she started developing weakness of the right side of her body, uh, and her arm is not working, her leg is not working, and uh, one side of her face is tilted to the other side. So this is the clinical presentation of a stroke, and she is not able to speak, she is not able to tell the names of anybody, and she is not able to understand also. So where is the lesion? So I used to imagine scenarios like this of whatever I am reading. So for you it could be something different depending on your subject, but I want you to actually imagine the scenarios and just reading a subject which requires calculations or drawing diagram in your whiteboard or in your notebook. I want you to do that. This method is called as the Feynman technique. I have modified it a bit. You don't have to explain it to somebody. You are just explaining it to yourself. Applying the Feynman method to yourself, where you are actually explaining whatever you have read, so that you know that you have read it in depth or have you read it superficially. So just half an hour, maybe 45 minutes of this Feynman method for your own safety, for your own benefit. Just do it. So now we are at 5:30 or maybe at 6:00, 6:15. 6:15. I want you to take a cool, nice break. You have studied more than 99% people study in a day. You have done high quality study. There is no uh, time pass in between. You have not touched your phone, and you will feel so satisfied in the evening when you sit down and you feel like. Ah, I've done everything. My job is over. And finally, I can relax. So that's what you can do in the evening. And since the morning, what we have done so far, we have done high quality things. We have done the hard things which we don't like. Second, we have recalled. We have revised. Thirdly, we have practiced the active questions. We have solved everything. We wanted to write something down. We did that. We did the Feynman technique as well. And finally, after the break in the evening, so you take your break for two hours, maybe like six thirty to eight thirty. You take a good break. And then after the break is done, after your dinner is done, probably at eight. The earlier you eat before your bedtime, that's more. well like for example if your bedtime is at 10 11 i want you to eat at 8 or 7 so earlier you eat in the dinner that's that's the best thing to go for just after that is done come back and sit down plan the next day uh, just review all the things that you have to review maybe you have solved a question paper you wanted to review it today uh, maybe you wanted to solve some more questions maybe some homework is left whatever it is in the last few hours of the day just do that and by 11 max to max by 11:15 go to sleep and enjoy 7 hours of sleep so in this entire schedule what we We have basically done is that we have got a solid seven hours of sleep. Next, what we have done is that we have got. Roughly five hours of hardcore study before the 12 p.m. hits. Next, we have done is that we've got at least six to seven more hours of study all throughout the day, while always taking good breaks, having good time, and also being highly focused. So this is the daily routine that you want to be following if you want to crack an exam and if you're actually serious about it. Now boards are coming up in February, uh, NEET exam is coming up in May, uh, and so many exams are coming up. NEET PG is coming up in July. So all of these are exams which are going to come up, and I want you to incorporate this study routine. if especially you are at home or hostel and you don't have any job coming up in the near time and i hope you enjoyed this video making it took so much time effort and energy so subscribing in just 2 seconds would make up for all of that thank you so much for watching don't forget it's your boy dr anish pachel first time medicine resident at gmc nagpur and i want you all to like this video let's see how many likes we can get in the first 24 hours and i will see you in the next one bye